Where's my microphone? Oliver, cover your ears. He's got his headphones on. Mr. Pee Pee Show. Look here, man. Your, le your last video. You're driving it home at night from work. Oh, yes, I know. Those are good, aren't they? I counted over 20 F-bombs in a video. My prick is longer than that video. Okay? And I counted 20 F-bombs. 20. I'm going to let you in on a secret. Because I, you know, I, I've been known to drop a few F-bombs here and there. But I subscribe to Hemingway's theory when it comes to four-letter words like F-U-C-K. Um, they're used for dramatics to drive a point home. When you use it too much, you just come across as a potty mouth. Nobody likes a potty mouth. Potty mouths should get their mouths washed out with soap. I wonder if Bed Bath & Beyond has any good soap. They don't stock their shelves anymore. So you can't get any soap there, can you? <laughs> anyway, clean up your mouth, kid. You know? Um, I mean, it's to the point where it's like, ew. Nobody likes that. Now, you drop the occasional left bomb, it's okay. And, and, and when you come from a blue collar, you know, middle class uh, you know, part of the world or part of a, wherever, uh, the F-bomb is more, is more casually used. And some people, the bourgeois, would say, oh, that's a sign of, of poverty and ignorance and this and that. But then they, they try that shit with me. They find out that I uh, am more... Uh, I'm well-read. And my vernacular is can be pretty impressive sometimes. Yeah, can. I know, I know. Uh, I'm such a great guy. Anyway, your video... That's what it gets because of the language. Non-stop. Non-stop bad language. You can see a guy driving home at night talking about a crappy stock that's bound to fail. And it's failing right now. Look at the price, right? It's failing. It's going to get smoked. It's going to be smoked. It's going to get smoked before AMC probably. And guess what? He's driving home. He just got off work. He's talking about his crappy stock. And every other word is F this and F that and F, F, F. Come on, man. You look like you're a little bit smarter. You look like you might be upper, you know, upper class. Yeah, it's not very classy using no meth bombs like that. Now, I want you to stop it, young man. I want you to pull yourself together. Get rid of that bogus stock. Get on board with a stock that's worth something. GME. Okay? Ryan Cohen. Get, you know, come on. Ryan Cohen. I have a, I have a picture. I'm going to frame it. I'm going to frame it. Because I'm, I like Ryan. I like Ryan. You know, he kept it. That smile, he has a cute little dog, you know. Just charming guy, you know. Kind of guy, like if he came up to the door and wanted to take my daughter out or something, I'd be like, oh, right this way, son. You know, he's, a, he's one of those guys, you know. One of those guys. Doesn't doesn't drop an F-bomb every five seconds. Unnecessary F-bomb. Back to Hemingway. You lose the effect when you use it too often. You have to use it correctly can't use it correctly, don't use it, okay, like a, any tool, you don't pick up a tool, you don't kick on a radial arm saw and just start cutting away, you have to know how to use it, or a, an air gun, or any kind of tool, you have to know how to use it, now if you can't use the English language properly, use the, the tools of storytelling with some responsibility, then your show is going to go the way of B B B Y, meth cooks and pole dancers and homeless, houseless people in the aisles. No soap, no towels, no bags. They ran out of bags in Springfield, Missouri. They ran out of bags. They got people leaving their stores carrying their stuff in cardboard boxes. <laughs> Looks like Bear Stearns. <laughs> Everybody's leaving their offices. <laughs> well, anyway, dude. Just lighten up with the F-bombs, all right? Just lighten up, man. Get a hold of yourself. Oliver's Papa saying bye-bye.